Okay, today's topic is about music, Western music, and talking about the circle of fifths. This is a theory, um, particularly for guitar. Uh, the diagram I'm sharing is for guitar. It's applicable to any any other instrument. It's basically the grammar about the scales and by the way I'm just sharing my notes on this topic and I also hope that these are worth sharing so others can use these ideas anybody who is uh, learning the guitar fretboard and the scales okay so uh, going to the circle of fifths I'm sharing this diagram, and if you look at the diagram, I'll explain what it depicts. The outer ring, or the band, is depicting major chords. So if you look at the diagram, there are concentric circles, right? the outer band and the inner band. So the outer one is depicting major chords, and as you can see, the boxes next to each other are four notes apart. In other words, the fifth note in the scale is on the right, or the clockwise right, clockwise from the note. For example, if you look at C, which is in the top here in this diagram, and the one on the right is the fifth note in the scale of C. So C, D, E, F, G. C is first, second, third, fourth, fifth is G. So it's on the right of C. And you continue in that fashion. From G, you go to the fifth, and you'll hit D, because G, A, B, C, D, and so on. And then you'll come back to C, because once you uh, go through all the 12 notes on the scale or um, on the keyboard, let's say, or on your fretboard, you'd have 12 frets. So if once you go through all those 12, you'll come back to C, right? The same uh, note. So that's the outer circle. Now we go back to the inner circle it depicts the minor chords. And you'll notice that we have A minor right below C. The reason being A minor has all the same notes as um, C, the scale of C. So we write A minor and then similarly going through the fifth of that particular scale, so A minor, and then you go to B, C, D, E is the fifth, and the fifth on A minor scale is the E minor. And so you continue similarly, those 12, and it comes back to A minor, and that's the second, uh, the inner ring. And one thing to notice is that the note on the left, for example, if you look at C, the note on the, the chord or the box on the left is F, which is the fourth in that particular scale. So C, D, E, F is the fourth. And so on the left is the fourth, on the right is the fifth of C or any other box. And what is the usefulness and highlight the purpose for this particular diagram, which is very useful, I believe. For example, if you're playing a song in a particular scale, let's say C, because we are taking that as the example, and it starts on the top, and it's all the, and there's no sharps and flats in that scale, so it's easy to start at that. So the entire set of chords of that scale we'll use the cluster of six boxes. 
you know, we are actually, we are uh, not including another ring, which is the diminished chord, but that is the seventh, is the diminished, but uh, if we are not considering the seventh, just use these six cluster of six boxes, and that would give you the entire uh, chords to play for that particular scale. So for example, C, you have F, G, D minor, E minor, E minor. Right, so C, and then on the left you have F, right you have G, below you have A minor, and all the adjacent boxes, right, so six of them. That's the utility and purpose, and uh, there are some diagrams with another ring with the seventh, which is, uh, in this case, it would be B, and with the uh, diminished, but that would be another ring, but we are not adding that level of complication. So hope this helps, just wanted to share, and I'd be grateful if you subscribe or comment on the videos and the blogs that I write, sharing my thoughts and sharing ideas, particularly in the areas of uh, music, meditation, yoga, and mind. Thank you very much, have a great rest of your day.